Okay, here's the Colossal. Check him out. Oh, he's got the trap door here as well. That's good. Now they normally sell these things for 12 bucks. Let's see what it. My name is Burp and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, hey, what's up? It's your boy Burp and it's five thrift store Friday. It's five thrift store Friday, the happiest day of the week. Yes, it is, folks. So we're going to be hitting up five thrift stores today, two thrift giants, two goody wills, and a thrift shitty baby. So Thrift City is the real name. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're going to head in here. We're going to keep our fingers crossed, and we're going to pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. Carson, Carson, he was here yesterday, and he sent me some photos, and there were, some there were two colossal T-Rexes in here. And then something else he sent over, um, some sort of Marvel figure. I don't know if he picked him up or not, or he, you know, he was just maybe he was just rubbing it in my face. Look what I got! But he might have left them. I don't know. The other day I thought he picked something up at the Goody Will, and he ended up leaving it behind. It was a uh, Mandalorian ship uh, made by Mission Fleet. So, but I ended up passing on it. Anyway, enough talking. We need to get in here and get these goodies. I'll see you inside. Well, what do we got in the glass case? We got some. Barbie Garota Ballerina. Never seen that version before. We got some woolly mammoth stuff, some die cast, some Minecraft over here. All right, let's go check the shelves. All right, folks, what do we got on the shelves? We got a fire truck. <laughs> See, oh, what's this? We got some Avenger Hulk. Look at this wooden school bus. Um, all kinds of Marvel down here. We got our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. We've got several Spider-Men here today. Oh, this one here's different. I've never seen one with that chest plate before. Let's see. And then what's this? So we got a Red Ranger. Looks like we might have a talking Captain America here. Yeah, talking Captain America. Going down, Red Skull. Let's take them down. We've got Darth Vader, no lightsaber. This guy here, he's got his lightsaber though. I don't know who that dude is. All right, over here we got some. Oh, here's that guy. This is what Carson showed me yesterday. Look at this dude. He's kind of, kind of neat looking. Five bucks. All right, I want to put him in the cart. We might get that guy. He's just different. I think he's something Marvel, right? Got this T-Rex. <laughs> this one here that has his face ripped off. Oh yeah, look at this one. This is the one, I think he actually lights up. I was looking to see if there was a, where's the button on him? Oh, his leg is all cracked though, that sucks. And this is that uh, How to Tame Your Dragon dude i can't remember his name oh we got this big old shark down here oh, his fin is broken on top of some busted up toys today all right what's this is this an optimus prime yeah it looks like it yeah him and bumblebee all right well we're definitely gonna pick this up uh he's not marvel which i'm sure most of you guys knew that he's dc and his name is man bat <laughs> i guess he's a uh, uh, different uh different than the batman he's a man bat so we're gonna pick this dude up because he's selling for like 25 30 bucks and we can get him for 4.99 all right here's a rescue heroes atv that's cool i like the bright colors Huh. I like this uh, little Rubik's Cube plush thing. How much do they want for that? A buck fifty-nine. That's yeah, kind of neat. It's almost like it's a uh, some sort of like carrying case of sorts or something. Does it have a zipper on it? Does it open up? Why does it have this handle on it? Anyway, for a dollar fifty-nine, I'll grab it. Oh, who's this? Isn't this like that? Uh, ghost spider or something like that for a second i thought this was the little fish thing from gumball when well, he feels like he takes batteries it's kind of creepy looking 
Uh, we've got one of these child figures. $12.91 for him. Damn! Oh, look, we got our friendly neighborhood Spider Man still in the box. Seven bucks. Forget about it. Wow, uh, look at these two big boys. Two bat bots. I had one of those at one point. I ended up selling it. Now, this is interesting. This dino is really cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, look, he can stand up on his, his tail. You can make him stand up. Man, he is cool. I really like him. <laughs> I don't so much, uh, it'd be cooler if you didn't have this fireman's hat or whatever, but that is a cool brontosaurus. Okay, here's the Colossal. Check him out. Oh, he's got the trap door here as well. That's good. Now they normally sell these things for 12 bucks. So let's see what it, oh snap. Are you serious? $25 for him. Like I bought, I've bought these from here before, like on like three different occasions. And they're always like $12 and 12 cents. And they're charging $24.82. That is ridiculous. There's another Colossal on the cart. And yep, they also want 24 bucks for that one. That's just ridiculous. All right, y'all, I got my haul. Man, can you believe what they're charging for those Colossals? They literally doubled the price. I've always paid 12 12 for them, always. <sighs> Thanks, Joe Biden. Thanks. All right, guys, it's time for a little show and tell. So we ended up picking up the Rubik's Cube plush. And uh, I'm not exactly sure why it has this handle on it. I thought maybe it might have been like a little bag or like a little purse type thingy, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't appear to open. Not from what I could tell anyway. But I thought it was cool. I like colorful things. So, you know, the yellows, the reds, the blues, the greens, the whites, that whole mixture of colors with the Rubik's Cube. I absolutely love it. So this will look nice in the bunker. And then we picked up the Man Bat. Very cool. He'll go good with my Batman collection. I don't have a very large Batman collection, but I've got some Batman. And uh, I think he'll look good with it. I always love these 12 inch figures because they display so nicely on the shelves. And like I said, I saw he was recently selling for like, you know, 20, 25 bucks. I think $30 was the top price I saw him going for. I think the bottom price is almost like around 17 or something like that. But hey, you know what? For, uh, I picked him up for a few bucks, like 399, I think it was, uh, or 499, but you know what, he's cool and I'm gonna keep him in my collection. All right, well, we are off to a fun start this morning. Up next, the goodie wheel. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the goodie wheel, baby. Goodie wheel, round grove road. What you got for me today, goodie wheel? What you got for me today? What you got for me? Hopefully they got some vintage toys or something really cool in there. Let's check it out. Last case. Looks like we just got some video games. Nothing too interesting. All right, well, what do we got here? Oh, Dinosaur Expedition Team, just a little Jurassic knockoff. Bummer. <laughs> That's what we experienced with the Colossal T-Rex at Thrift Giant, a real bummer. All right, anything else? Nope, not seeing anything. How about over here in Plushville? Oh, this is uh, Disney Parks. I think this is uh, Dale, right? Chip and Dale. This is Dale. I always know because one of them has, I think it's Dale has the, the red nose. It's kind of cool. Let's see here. We got a Kung Zhu. But that's about it. I guess I'll see if he's worth anything. No, not really. He's worth about 10 bucks is what he's selling for. Too bad Chip wasn't with him. 
then it might actually be worth getting the two and selling them for like $25, $30, you know? I don't think Chip's in here. And we'll take a quick little look here, just in case. Nope. Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. The Jungle Book 60 piece puzzle. We got Clue, Monopoly. Some playing cards from Vegas. That's it. All right, y'all, we just got busted. Busted at the goody wheel. Up next, thrift shitty, baby. All right, my friends, we are at the infamous thrift city, home of the world famous glass case. Yeah, right. <laughs> There ain't ever nothing in this glass case anymore. It used to be good. I bitch about it every time. It used to be good. It used to be world famous. I gotta come up with a different name for it. In the meantime, let's see what we can pull out of here. Alrighty then, let's see. Anything here in Plushville? Doesn't look like it. Now let's see what we can find. On the shelves, we got a tortoise, a dinosaur, a Lucky You lunchbox. Oh, <laughs> looks like somebody painted the inside of it. All right, what do we got down here? Got a Hess fire truck. I don't see those too often. I see the other Hess vehicles, the white vehicles. I don't normally see red fire trucks. Some PJ Mask stuff. We've got this uh, Mr. Potato Head carry case. Cool little helicopter, but no blades. What's this thing? Oh, this is something Jurassic World or Jurassic Park. Let's see here. $3.99. A switch and go dinosaurs, but isn't that like the Jurassic Park or Jurassic World symbol? Hmm. Oh, what's this thing here? Oh, <laughs> it's two th two things combined. Check him out. He's got he's got pants. He's got legs now. Can get around. What's this thing here in the back? Bacon plumbing. Miss Bacon plumbing. What is that? It's like some little toy boat. One of the rudders is broken off of it. Whoops. And we've got our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. We've got a Batman. Another Spider-Man. A guitar. Any vintage toys on the shelves? Here's a Robin. Down this away. The Boy Wonder. Maybe like a Hot Wheels racetrack thing. Well, I don't think I'm seeing a whole lot of anything. We do have a Miles Morales. And what's this? Well, it looks like it could have been like an ATV or something. Oh, here's a vintage bed bugs game. This one's from 1985. That's always a fun game. Um, might open it and see what's in there. Last three visits here, I've picked up three vintage Milton Bradley games. So the box is a little more out, but that's okay. Let's open it and see if the pieces are there. Well, well, well. It looks like all the pieces are here. It just needs batteries. All right, well, let's grab this game. That's cool. Bed bugs, bed bugs. Don't be no sleep today. Bed bugs, bed bugs. Such a crazy game to play. Bed bugs is the frantic new catch and capture game where you pick the color and then scramble to get the most bugs. Bed bugs, bed bugs. Don't let them get away. Bed bugs, bed bugs. It's a wacky game to play. Bed bugs, bed bugs. Don't be no sleep today. Bed bugs, bed bugs. Don't get carried away. 
bed bugs from Milton Bradley. It'll drive you buggy. Oh, no, that's different. Look at that. It's an Alvin and the Chipmunks, but it's actually a boy version of him. It's not an actual chipmunk, right? That's what Alvin would look like if he was an actual kid. What do they want for him? A buck 99? All right, well, let's grab him too. Are there any others down here? Simon and Theodore, maybe? I'm not seeing them. I'll kind of scan through this stuff again, but yeah, he's kind of cool. I like him. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. All right, anything in the glass case? That would be a big fat no. But we do have a shopping cart full of stuff. Looks like plushies, maybe some action figures. Oh, that's a cool looking Iron Man. He actually has lots of articulation and he's really heavy. I'm not a big Iron Man guy, but that one feels like he's like good quality. All right, what else do we got in here? monster trucks here at the bottom. Iron Man, or uh, Captain America mask. What's this mask here? Oh, that's Groot. Don't see a Groot mask too often. Yeah, there's a Black Panther. I think that's about it, other than this Batman. Okay, guys, while we're waiting at the counter to check out, we'll do our show and tell. We're going to get this Alvin from 2016. We're going to get this Iron Man. He's got lots of articulation, super cool figure. And we're going to get the bed bugs. Well, that was another sweet little haul. That, uh, that Iron Man is really nice, guys. Like, really nice. Like, his elbows, his hands, his ankles, his knees, his head his shoulders, like everything, like so many points of articulation and he's really heavy. So I just gotta put some batteries in him because he's not working at the moment, but I wasn't able to find him specifically on eBay to comp and see how much he's actually worth, but I think he'd probably be worth a little bit of money because he's really nice. All right, let's head on over to Thrift Giant and see what kind of goodies they got. Actually, I was wrong. He doesn't take batteries at all. He's just, very heavy. I thought he had like a battery component. That's why he was so heavy. Man, this dude is freaking awesome. <laughs> oh man, we got lucky on this one. All right, my friends, we are at Old Thrifty Pants off of Mill Street. You know, I found that G.I. Joe Arctic Blast Snowcat here a couple weeks back or whatever, or you know, I guess maybe a week or so ago. But it kind of, when you, when you find stuff like that, you sometimes often wonder like, how much other Joe stuff is in the back that's just not out yet, you know? And I can't be over here every day, all day, like waiting for stuff to come out and see if there's any more Joes. I just wonder if like, after I left, did someone else score big and like get like a whole lot of GI Joes? You know, those are always the questions that run through my mind. So let's see what we can get in here. All right, well, let's see what do we got. We got a T-Rex. I want four bucks for him. Not a bad deal. Let's see. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Hmm. There's more dinos down here. Kind of like that Triceratops. I also like this Brontosaurus. Hey, there's a little robot over there looking at us. Yeah, you know, I think my mom actually had one of these when I was a kid. I think she made it herself. Oh, here's another dino. What do they want for him? Ah, his price tag is rubbed off, so they won't sell him to. Oh, here it is on the bottom. He is a uh, $6.99. All right, now the question becomes do we want to get both of these? Seems like a good deal though, right? What's this? Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday. All right. Here's another Iron Man. He's not as cool as the one we just picked up, though. And looks like we got a Mickey Mouse Valentine's talking plush. Is this a Tonka? Oh, yeah. Does that have a year on it? Uh, 2020. I thought maybe it might be a little older. It was like die cast heavy. Yeah, I just gotta decide if I wanna get those guys or not, you know? I mean, I could probably get them and flip them, but I got other dinos I still need to sell. Ah, decisions, decisions. Well, I think this guy's broken because you're supposed to be able to, I think, to move, oops, <laughs> move his tail. I can't really show you here. Let's see if I can put him down. There we go. I think you're supposed to be able to move his tail and his head is supposed to swivel, but it's not. So we'll just leave him here on the shelf. And what's this guy? I mean, I know that's a pterodactyl, but is that like supposed to be Rodan, like a Godzilla figure? Hmm, I'm gonna have to investigate that. So it turns out this guy's actually vintage. He's 1999 Mattel's Bubba Bear. I've never heard of him. I don't even know what they're asking. Oh, buck 99. I don't know, you know? He's kind of neat. I mean, I like plush that have like plastic and plush combined and oh you know it actually feels like he's got a battery pack so he probably sings happy birthday or something yeah i think i'll just leave him here but i am gonna get this i mean again i don't know if it's just a pterodactyl or something else there's no markings on it i don't know if it's like a godzilla type of uh, you know like a rodan or something like that but uh he's neat nonetheless Makes a cool little display right there. So I'm gonna grab them. They want uh, three bucks for them. And actually, I think these two actually go together. So I think I'm gonna grab this guy too. I did like him right from the start. I was like, hey, I kinda like that Triceratops. Yeah, I'll get them both. They look pretty cool together. All right, I've changed my mind again. Man, I changed my mind more than a woman. Uh, you guys are probably like, man, this dude is the most indecisive toy hunter I've ever met. So, turns out I found them online. They're actually bath toys, which would explain why they have this little plug thing right here where you can squeeze the water out of them. But uh, I do think they're cool, don't get me wrong. But I just, I'm running out of space in the bunker. I'm starting to fill up totes in the garage now with toys that I find and I gotta just try and stick to like really cool stuff like that Iron Man I picked up and like vintage toys. So we're gonna leave them here for someone else to enjoy. I don't know what all those things are. It says Playmation Avengers on it. Must be some sort of like remote control vehicle is what I'm guessing. All right, well, we just got busted and I spent way more time in there than I should have. So let's hit up the goodie wheel next, see what kind of goodies they got. See if we can get a strong finish to the day. All right, my friends, we are at the goodie wheel, baby. What you got for me today, goodie wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully, you got some good good. Hopefully, you got some vent vent. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, Vern? Some vintage toys. That's the name of the game, folks. We always want vintage toys. Let's see what they got. All right, what do we got? The Xbox 360 still here. Dope Walker Award. We got some game controllers over there. Some video games. All right, let's go check the shelves. Hey, check it out. It's our boy Buzz. And there's a woody in there too oh what's this thing Vickerstown diesel works what is that learning curve brands oh, that's kind of neat all right let's see what do we got on these shelves 
we gonna get anything out of here today? Huh? Goodwill, you gonna give me anything today? All right, let's see. So far, it's not looking good, gang. It's a rescue bot. Well, I think we about to get busted unless we find something over here. That's not vintage. Yeah, it's from 2022. Little Mickey Mouse. Yeah, nothing in Plushville either. Oh, this big old Zord. It'd be cool if these pieces actually came off and he like, you know, transformed into something. But we'll just leave them here. Oh no, that is creepy. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> like lab rats ah, look at that they're like eating meat right off the bone oh that is that is crazy it's probably worth a lot of money <laughs> you know like part of me wants to get it but i hate rats man Ugh. i don't know i might uh I might still grab that. That is so different and unique. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, I'm like genuinely torn, guys. Like, I hate rats. I think they're disgusting. Oh, I hate rats. If only I could have been with you. There were rats, Dad. Rats? Um, but uh, it's so different. I've never seen anything like it, and I've only, I just looked it up, and there's only one even being offered on eBay, and they're trying to get like 14 bucks for it, at least from what I could tell. Um, but none of them have been sold in the last 90 days either, but like, I would get it probably just to kind of keep it, but it's like a Halloween prop. It's kind of realistic looking when you look at it from a distance. Oh man, what am I gonna do? I want five dollars for it, which I don't think is too bad, but I just don't know if I want that in my house. Could you imagine if Nicole saw this? She'd be like, you're disgusting. Like, why did you buy that? But it's just, I don't know. It's kind of crazy in a way, you know? It's just, again, it's so unique and different and I like weird things. Like half tempted to get it. Hey, check this thing out. Captain Richard Hennessy cognac. It's a, it's like a mug. I just looked it up and it sells for like thirty bucks. It's got a little chip in it up here, but uh, they only want two ninety two for it. Really cool, and then there's this piece right here as well. I don't, uh, it's got this uh, mark on it of PD. Not sure if this is also supposed to be Captain Richard, maybe. I don't know. It looks vintage, they're, they're both vintage, I think. This is definitely vintage. I'm pretty sure this one is too. Hmm, do I want to get that? It's just, it's really cool, it's different. Speaking of captains, <laughs> look over here, we got this pirate ship oh that's pretty cool oh look they just brought out this cart let's take a peek rbg ruth bader ginsburg <laughs> that's funny I don't really see anything else in there. But that's kind of interesting. I'll at least look that up, see if it's worth flipping. You know, um, it actually it actually only sells for me like 10 to 15 bucks, which isn't bad, consider I could get it for $2 and two cents, but I have a friend. It's one of Nicole's good friends. Her name's Nikki. It's actually Nicole's best friend. And uh, she's a fan of RBG. I'm not really. I never really liked this lady, <laughs> but, uh, but Nikki is, 
And uh, you know what? I think it's something that Nikki would probably like. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this for her and tell Nicole next time she sees her, she can give it to her. So, you know, even though uh, I might not like the same people as my friends, I still like my friends and I still think of them. And uh, if I see something that's gonna make them happy, even though like this lady is bleh. Anyway, <laughs> we don't need to get into all that, but I'm gonna buy it for Nikki. All right, y'all, well, we finished with a little RBG in the house. Hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.